Well, hey there, welcome to session number 19 of Bareback Jack Songs. And so here is a last album that was printed on vinyl. And the title of it is Chris Ledoux and the Saddle Boogie Band. There you go. And so on the, the last album, uh, it was kind of like the introduction of the Saddle Boogie Band. And uh, just kind of skim through some of the liner notes back here. It says, this is the second time I've taken the Saddle Boogie Band into a Utah studio to record an album. Um, it also says on side one, from 17 to look at you, girl, we've tried to do uh, like a story, you know, like it's kind of a concept album. Uh, and then the side B was, was alive. It was, it was all live. Um, and so here's a, I'll give you the names real quick of the Saddle Boogie Band. And so it's Scott Dorton on keys, Bruce Gordon on uh, rhythm guitar, acoustic guitar, Lanny Ross on bass, uh, Gary Kapinski on drums, Brandon Warren on steel, and Tony Chavez on lead guitar. And here's a picture of these outlaws. Yeah. And so, yeah, it, this was a good album, too. A lot of hits for Dad. Uh, I mean, from 17, Hooked on 8 Second Ride, Cadillac Cowboy, Look at You Girl, which is probably one of the most played wedding songs out there, I think. And the guy who wrote that was the bass player, Lanny Ross. Um, yeah, this was good. And I remember they used to, you know, the, the band was all based in, around Salt Lake. Uh, I think I might have mentioned that on an, another video, but uh, but they would, you know, Dad would be writing all these songs in Wyoming. And then he he kind of put together like some rehearsal time, and he'd drive down to Salt Lake, and they'd hang out at Gary Kapinski's house, uh, the drummer, and you know, work these brand new songs up. And I remember me and my little brother Will were there at one of these rehearsals, and they're they're just putting together Eight Second Ride and and Cadillac Cowboy and Seventeen and and even look at you girls. So it was kind of neat to sort of be a fly on the wall in those days. Um, good album. And once again, this is the last one printed on vinyl. So after this, it was all CD. And so the one I'm going to pick off of here, um, I'm sure there might be a lot of people say, oh, play look at you girl. Well, <laughs> I'm going to kind of go to a, a side B. Um, it's called the Utah Tribute. And... Uh, I got a pick here and I don't know what it was about Utah but it's it kind of became dad's uh sort of fan base uh it just been so good to dad over the years and and y'all have welcomed me in with open arms and not just to single out Utah but I mean everywhere around the country has been great um you know for dad I mean you guys are the best fans ever you know, all over the, all over the country. Um, but this song was one that dad wrote, uh, just kind of tip of the hat to the great state of Utah and the fans that he had down there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Utah tribute. Started off just a young cowboy playing songs on a cheap guitar. Melodies were kind of rough, but you know they came from the heart. And if not for you, I never could have ever got this far. Yeah, you helped me grow. And I owe you more than you'll ever know. From the days at the Terrace Ballroom, man, we made it up to Symphony Hall. Played my songs and you sang along And man, we really had a ball And you brought your little children And I'd seen them all grow tall Yeah, I watched you grow And I owe you more than you'll ever know And all the wild and woolly cowboys Dancing and yelling for more Hats and snoops, and cowboy boots, stomping on a hardwood floor. And you waltz those Utah ladies 
Underneath the spotlight glow Yeah, you helped me grow And I owe you more than you'll ever know Well, I owe you more than you'll ever know Tip of the hat to the great state of Utah. That's one that Dad wrote a long time ago. Um, I love you all. Thanks for sticking around and watching this. Uh, if you want to get my music, go to nedledoo.com. All right. See you later.